itself for a car culture that's blind to us bikers. I've decided to take another route in and pick up 66 at the beginning of Santa Monica Boulevard. Route 66 I know from the last time heading through San Bernardino is a nightmare. About 60 miles out of Barstow, the interstate gets pretty hectic. Defensive yet aggressive riding is the order of the day. I'm heading down to hook up with 66 on Santa Monica Boulevard by way of the 210. Once on Santa Monica, the traffic slows. It's time to take in what this city of angels is all about. LA is a city that I know well and strangely have grown to love. A love that's born out of its gaudy facades, its anything goes reputation and its brashness of culture. You either sink or swim here, it's no place for the meek. To be a spectator is one thing, but to live here and face the loneliness of overt capitalism must be quite another. But as I look on from the security of my beloved chop, it's compelling. Suddenly Santa Monica Boulevard and Route 66 comes to an abrupt end and it's all over. There's no fanfare, no one's clapping, just me, another TV presenter, doing something that means so much to them but is totally irrelevant to everyone else trying to make it big in LA. Well, it's been two and a half weeks, 2,500 miles, eight states, three time zones, but we've made it to the end of Route 66. And Route 66 stops right here on the cliffs of Santa Monica. So if you're looking for this, which is the sign that marks the end of Route 66, which I have to say, I've been standing here for about 10 minutes and no one's actually looked at. Uh, it says the Will Rogers Highway, dedicated to him in 1952. Will Rogers obviously was the first Hollywood star that actually used Route 66 to come down here to find fame and fortune. So I guess it's that time to reflect on whether Route 66 is truly one of the world's greatest motorcycle rides. Well, absolutely it is, but there have been times when I would have said it wasn't. Often 66 is difficult to follow. Some states try their hardest to sign it, but all too often I found myself giving up and resorting to the interstate. The first states of Illinois, Missouri and Kansas delight, but then the midsection through Oklahoma was challenging. Hundreds of miles of fast food joints and pickups, but then into Texas and the terrain changes. Deserts, solitude and riding the American dream beckoned and it all seemed so worth it. There is no road like this boulevard of dreams. Its history, its legacy, its diversity and most especially its welcoming communities all conspire to make America's Main Street something you just have to be a part of. After having now ridden its whole length twice, would I return? Well, that'll be a resounding yes. So has Route 66 changed since I last rode it six years ago? Well, you know what? I think it has for the better. And mainly because of the industrious passion that the people along the way, all along Route 66, have for maintaining it. And what's wonderful about that is that for generations to come, they'll preserve Route 66 to make it always be probably one of the greatest motorcycle rides on earth.